hundreds of Aussie fans lined up outside the Alamo, waiting for the crazy train to arrive. We were here all day. We came because we didn't know what time. We thought he'd be in the morning, so we just showed up. And even if he wasn't here, we had a good time. The heavy metal rocker pulling up in a black SUV. His son Jack speaking on his father's behalf. We appreciate you all being here. We really do. And it's awesome. We love this. All right. We love, we love a San Antonio welcome. But after urinating on the Alamo Cenotaph more than 30 years ago, Ozzy wasn't welcome in San Antonio anymore. He later apologized for his behavior at a concert at the Freeman Coliseum in 1992. Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf remembers that day well. So I went to his, I guess you characterize his hard rock session, I guess. It was pretty loud, <laughs> but I enjoyed it and I thought he was a, a, a very nice gentleman to do that. Now, many years later, after once being shunned from the Alamo City, the crowd still cheers his name. And for Mario Guetta and his daughter, this is an instrumental experience they'll always remember. We're going to wait here, you know, maybe, you know, we'll get lucky and stuff, you know, and just get to at least shake his hand or maybe some kind of interaction.